Gary Swartz, an undeniable legend of countless talents. Gary was born in 1952 in New York State. In his youth, school plays would spark an acting passion for Gary, and at age 13 he would already start his professional career, starting out as a pantomime. Gary would develop and improve all his skills and would soon after meet his comedy partner, Caleb Chung, introducing Swartz and Chung. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Caleb 9000. I am a highly sophisticated, mimetic, animatronic robot recently acquired from Disneyland. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Gary and Chung were so good at what they did that they would eventually start getting agents and real acting jobs. Listen, bozo. <laughs> and soon after, in 1981, Gary would get his first official movie debut in the Oscar-winning Quest for Fire. Caleb always had a fascination for electronics and special effects, and they ended up landing a perfect job for this on America's Funniest People with the segment Cool Ways to Scare Your Mom. My lows look funny to you? Looks a little crooked, huh? Watch this. Much better now. And what you do, see, to make the sound, you take your thumbnail and makes a loud sound. Oh, hi, honey. I'm sorting laundry. Do you want to help? Uh, no, my nose feels funny, Mom. Oh, what's wrong, dear? Well, it feels like it needs a... Ah! ah! Gary and Caleb would keep doing stuff like this together, but after 17 years together as a comedy duo, they decided to split their paths. Gary was getting tons of jobs, left and right, commercials, shows, just a bunch of stuff. From Oregon Farms? Tastes a lot fresher than canned soup, doesn't it? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you make monkey sounds? Monkey sounds? Gee, I don't think so. Got the Klondike right here. Rich vanilla ice cream. <laughs> That's good. Hello, fellas. I'm Doc Floyd, the very, 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 very famous, yet very affordable family psychotherapist. Caleb, on the other hand, got more into electronics and toy designing. And then he decided to design this little toy. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called the Furby. Oh, 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 me. Me, Amanda. Me, Mela. Me, Amanda. That's Furby. <laughs> Both of them were doing really well and Gary, he was getting into improv, he was very good at it and he decided to get into something called looping. Looping is basically doing improv dialogue for background characters in movies from their lip movement. And I'm about to blow your mind because Gary, he's been around to say the least, <laughs> at least as a looper. Gary has been in, get ready. Oliver and Company, A Goofy Movie, Madagascar, A Nightmare Before Christmas, Despicable Me 2, Hercules, and the list goes on, but you get the idea. Now we are in the 90s, and video games were coming up left and right. Gary decided to try his hand at voice acting, and in 1996, he would voice a character in The Jungle Book with a pretty familiar voice. You're the one that's supposed to save the jungle? Forgive me for saying so, but it looks like you're having trouble saving yourself. And well, the rest is history. Gary is such a nice person with so many talents. His real passion is actually teaching and everything he has learned, he's been teaching since the age of 24, which is insane. Gary actually does online classes, and if you've ever wanted to learn improv, you should definitely go. I'm considering it myself when I get the time. Just the two of us. But thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this and actually got to talk to Gary for this, where he basically told me the story of his life. Let me know if you'd like to see that as a video, because I have our whole conversation on video and he said I could upload it, but if, if, yeah, if you guys want to see it, he's a really good storyteller and I'd love to show it. But anyways... Thank you so much. Well, we're actually nearing 80,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So uh, yeah, L let me know what you want to see next and make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.